smile. Hey guys, what's up Sam? Look, it's so good to be back. Um, you know, finally getting back into it after a, a bit of a break, but back into it, reviewing trailers and um, look, it's a pretty auspicious day. We've got the brand new trailer for Joker. I'm super amped for this film. Um, it's going to be awesome, so let's check it out. Uh, it's going to be gnarly. Here we go. Gotham City. Ooh. Oh, that's not good. This is the last time we'll be meeting. You don't listen, do you? You just ask the same questions every week. Ooh. How's your job? Are you having any negative thoughts? Jesus. All I have are negative thoughts. Oh, madness. Whoa, now that, that's a trailer. Um, well guys, there you go, Joker, um, directed by Todd Phillips, that looks intense. I've got to say, I'm, I really like that trailer from a narrative point of view, really delving into the madness of uh, Walking Phoenix's Arthur Fleck there. So, you know, as we know the story, Arthur Fleck, you know, failed stand-up comedian who's in poverty, doesn't really have anything to live for, he gets pushed, you know, too far, you know, has one very bad day, and then it all goes downhill from there. Um, I think the biggest thing with this film is that Tom Phillips has said, look, this is not based on the comic books, this is suggested by it. So what he's wanted to do is he said, I want to take the story of an ordinary man and see what turns him bad, what turns him into something like the Joker. This isn't the Joker we're used to, this is kind of a film, you know, th this is this is the man informing the Joker kind of thing, and I think we're seeing that there. Um, on a thematic level, there's a lot of stuff going on here, you know, definitely the whole idea of madness and insanity, and the line that, you know, separates them, you know, what's a um, clinical, where, where is Arthur on a clinical basis, where is he on a criminal basis, um, you know, obviously he's got that pathological laughter going there, uh, which, you know, he can't control, but, you know, gives him that menace to him, um, and just, you know, how he doesn't fit into society, he's an outsider, and you know he doesn't fit in and it just gets worse and worse and worse um you've also that got the whole um you know otopedal complex there you know he lives with his mother you know he's like a 40 year old you know 35 40 year old man still lives with his mother takes care of her. She obviously is a very domineering force i've seen this in the previous trailer as well so that's a big thing there um you know, then you've got the political standpoint, you know, the 1% represented by Thomas Wayne, so we're getting into there, and, you know, he's almost got this kind of, you know, Donald Trump kind of, you know, thing going on, super successful businessman, he's got the slip back here and everything, so the thing I'm really seeing here is we're seeing, you know, we're seeing a film set in the 1980s, but it's really got a contemplative viewpoint, um, you know, you see all the Joker people, you know, the clowns running around, you know, that's maybe an anonymous thing, you know, this kind of, this, like, sort of anarchistic kind of army that pops up, and my question there is, 
you know, is Arthur behind this? You know, does he create that, or is that something that he becomes aware of and then he becomes the figurehead of it? Um, obviously, you do see him, you know, there in his transformation as the Joker. You know, with um, you know, with Rob De Niro's character Murray Franklin, who's a talk show host. Um, the Scorsese influence there is is big as well. You can see it. Um, but look, this this trailer is fantastic. I'm really liking it. I think we've got some amazing possibilities here, and I'm really interested to see how this develops. You know, I'm interested to see where this film goes. Um, I think it's going to be a very divisive film. I think you know there will be people who like it and people who don't. I, I'm I'm frankly going to love it. I love the idea of doing something different with the source material and really taking that different direction. Um, but I'm thinking this looks great, uh, and you know I'm really excited for this film. So I say bring on October fourth, bring on the madness. Um, you know. You know, as Alan Moore said, you know, madness is the emergency exit. I think that's exactly what we're going to get with this film, and uh, I'm really excited to go there. So, guys, there you go. A brand new video. You know, it's a long time coming, but I'm back at it. Really excited. Um, let me know in the comments below. Did you guys like the trailer? I'd be really interested to hear more, and uh, yeah, see you soon.